Hey everybody, welcome back to Lessons Learned. I can see the boys are really ready today. They're all on their phones. Uh, I'm pretty sure Chris and Jared are actually texting each other. You uh, you boys ready to do this or are we going to get started yeah. or what? Are we starting? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're going to start, I think. Um, and today's episode oh. is going to oh, be shit. about, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be about you assholes okay. buried in your phones. Um, <coughs> oh, yeah, today's episode it. is going to be about My bad. the effect that our technology has on our humanity. Yeah, it's going to be a doozy, I think. Chris? Yeah, thanks, Gimli. Um, what? Gimli. <laughs> anyway. Gimli. <laughs> Lord of the Rings theme. I'm going to start a new series, Randy. <laughs> And it's gonna like be it. all the redheaded, bearded people in history, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And real. I like it. And and I'm gonna put pictures. That's why I pointed. Gimli is gonna <laughs> pop up right here. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I like that. I'm about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, sweet. So technology, right? Gimli didn't have that shit. Um, he, all he had was an axe and some little stubby legs. <laughs> I'm that's done. Need. I'm done. I promise. All right, cool. So technology. Uh, look at us right now. We're all FaceTiming on Discord. This is pretty cool. Um, Randy's got an axe now. All of a sudden, okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he might be real life family. technology. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and we're all you know recording on microphones and interfaces, and we've got the cameras and what the heck. There's a lot of stuff going on, and it's just normal now. So we want to talk about both the good and the bad that technology has on human life, right? Um, so who wants to start it off, boys? Let's go with uh, let's go with Randy. He seems passionate Randy. about it. This was his idea, yeah. so I'll let him start off. All right. So this is this is a big one for me because I feel like I feel like in general we've kind of lost the ability to communicate with each other in like a healthy manner. Um, everything is so much over you know cell phones and computers and everything these days, which is great in a way. Um, Especially like we, you know, what we went through last year where a lot of times you couldn't be with people that you wanted to be around. We were able to use these technological advances so that we were able to still, you know, be a part of each other's lives. However, now things are going back to normal. And now I feel like we're falling into the same rut we were in prior to the pandemic where, you know, people can't talk to people. Like I feel like people have such a hard time communicating amongst each other. And I feel like with every step forward we take in technology, we also take a step back with our humanity. Um, Technology has become such a big part of our everyday lives, but I think the more that we push it forward, the less that we are able to be humans. I agree. Yeah, Yeah, that's deep. That's very deep. (laughs) That's a good quote, dude. I might get that tattooed on myself somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) Right on your ass. I'll do it on my ass. I guess a good example of that, though, is how much uh, technology is taking over in the workplace. I know, Mm -hmm. like, we were kind of focused on talking about, like, people to people, but looking at the workplace, there's so so much automation going on. If you go into Walmart, like, there's machines that go around scanning, you know, the actual, the shelves, and then they'll order the restock and everything. It's, there's so much technology that's replacing people, which I think just adds on to the problem. Yeah, right. just Maybe I mean, like just think of like, like self checkout. S- yeah, like instead of exactly. instead of talking yeah. to a person while you're checking out, you're just you're just beeping it yourself. You pay and you just leave. You don't even have <laughs> to. You don't even have to interact with an individual <laughs> if you don't want to. Exactly. I, I usually stare at the guy in the camera, and it's myself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Like, hey, what's going on, bud? Damn, and there's an actual guy like cream. watching that camera. It's just like, what the fuck's this yeah. guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do like a. <laughs> hey, yeah. I saw a meme the other day and it was like y'all made fun of Plankton for having a computer girlfriend now look at you <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I love that that's oh. hilarious <laughs> um, so on a serious note there is good and bad right I am going to focus on the bad because I generally dislike technology a lot um, I, I think our generation I think Joey was probably the beginning of the generation where He's cell phone and video games were normal. Um, yep. My generation, I'm only three years older than him. So that's all it took. Yeah. But I grew up, you know, biking, no cell phones, biking out, got to be back by the streetlights are on. Yeah. Um, you'd go back out after dinner if your mom let you. 
it was fun like there was just a plan to meet up and if you didn't show up you didn't show up like okay i guess his mom didn't let him back out that's fine and you did your thing right no video games you just we played in the mud uh i caught crawfish in the river like just dumb shit i didn't have a phone i didn't tell my mom where i was going i just went and i was back um but this transitions into now where work everything is everything is like you're expected to be on call 24 7 yeah so take the military 10 years ago right you had email it was probably slow as shit probably just as slow as it is today actually <laughs> it's <laughs> probably the same exact one yeah nah, <laughs> we haven't upgraded grade. at all yeah but imagine that right imagine and just work in general not not just the military but work you get off at five o'clock you're done you don't hear a thing until you go back the next day. And that is so uh, taken for granted because now we have, I mean, us alone, we have apps. We're expected to answer if there's a message for us. They can tag you. You know, they, they call your phone if you don't answer. It's just like, dude, leave me alone. Like I need to disassociate myself from work for these nine, 10 hours to recharge my brain. And it's, it doesn't happen and people are getting so burnt out myself included like i hate it so that's why next month i'm just taking a trip to montana going hiking and just going off the grid like i feel like everybody should do that at least once a year like more than that realistically but at least once a year take a few days and just go off the grid and like reevaluate your life mm-hmm. dude that's uh that's a great point you made about the work thing um and i've noticed that like with my job as well in the civilian world where it's like, you know, I'll get texts at nine, ten o'clock at night about something work related. And I'm like, why? Why? Why is this happening right now? And I have I'm at the point where, like, if I get anything from work after like eight thirty, nine o'clock, I don't look at it. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's what that's what you neither, need to do. Neither do we necessarily. But at the same time, it's like in the back of your head, like, shit, I wonder if yeah. there's a message in there. I wonder if like I'm missing something. So you check you yeah. subconsciously open that app. And then you close it out. Nothing there. Okay, cool. Yep. When in reality, like that should not even cross your mind. No. Yeah, I've done I've done that at like ten o'clock at night, like before bed or like on Sunday or like even during the weekends. Like I check the apps. Like did I like miss something just to like make sure? Because like you said, subconsciously, I, it just stresses me out knowing that like there's people trying to like communicate with each other, possibly me, literally all the time. Doesn't matter what time of day it is. So subconsciously, I kind of like I just kind of check it, and it's just like I can't. I can't disassociate myself from that work mentality. You can't just change that mindset because you are always thinking about it at some point. Yeah, Almost like we're is. too connected. We yeah, are. Yeah. So that I guess that would be my point is that I feel like humanity right now is is too connected. Yes, I it's a great thing, especially during COVID times that you're able to FaceTime and all this wonderful stuff with people across the world, not even just the country, but it's like it's too much, man. It's too much. Yeah. Like, when everyone's an individual, we can't be connected like that all the time. Like it just it drives yeah. us crazy. And it's I think it's funny because how connected we are via like, you know, internet and apps and you know, FaceTime and text and calling and everything. We can't connect in person. Like especially the younger generation, it's terrible. Um it's so bad. I I got to deal with this at work all the time and like a lot of there there's a few that are good but I would say the majority of like the younger kids that come in don't know how to talk to somebody in person. Like they'll just sit there, they won't say anything to you. If you go up to them you're like, "Oh, how are you doing today?" Fine. "How's your good. leg feel?" <laughs> good. You get like these one-word answers. They won't look at you. You you can't get like you can't get them to look you in the eye and have a conversation. Like they're like looking away or like you know all and, over the place they, they can't they can't hold a conversation and i'm like why do i feel like this would be a different story if i was sitting here with this texting back and forth even though we're sitting two feet from each other if i was sitting here texting this person why do i feel like this would be a different conversation and, again all the emojis and everything too and that's yeah. crazy because you're actually working with this individual it's not like you know it's not like you're walking into the grocery store and saying hi to the person up front right. like you're working with this person and they can't right. give you more than one word responses Mm. yeah and, and I, even yeah, like and how, even going into the grocery store it's like you you can't even like talk to somebody and be like you know wow what kind of crazy weather we're having today they they look at you like you're weird so that's yep. yeah. i think that's as a cultural thing and like depending on what area you're in too like some mm-hmm. places it's just weird to talk to random people but in like other places it's perfectly fine to talk to people 
Uh, so that, I think that's a, that's a cultural thing, and I think it's just a communication thing too. So like, what I always think about when it comes to like technology is like technology, it ruins our moments of like silence. Um, so like, think about when you're like just sitting in a waiting room, like at a doctor's office or something. Now you can just be playing like playing on your phone, doing whatever you want, and like just imagine like 20 years ago, you're sitting there in that waiting room. What are you gonna do? Like you would probably talk to the person waiting in that waiting room with you or something like that. So technology, it fills those gaps of just like moments so that you're doing nothing. Uh, and even, even when like, I don't just anytime, like throughout the day, it's like, you're, you're always doing something because you always have your phone on you. So you can always do something. And yeah. how often do people honestly just sit there and just not think or like, they, or they just sit there not doing anything. It gives them a moment to think. Um, I always think about that. Like, I always like, I know everyone brings their phone when they go to the bathroom. Like it's something that everyone does, but imagine just, yeah, like just like 10, 20, like imagine when you didn't have your phone, you went to the bathroom and just sitting there thinking now people can't even like people can't even think (laughs) it like people can't imagine not watching YouTube videos or something while they're going to the bathroom. It's just like, what's, (laughs) what's wrong with people? What's wrong with nothing? What's wrong with having nothing going on in your life? I plead guilty. guilty. (laughs) I've gone back. I've gone back for my phone. Yeah, pants yeah. like, oh, around shit. his ankles and everything. <laughs> it's, I need my funny. entertainment. <laughs> it's funny you say this because um, I first got my I got my first phone when I was sixteen, I think, and because I grew up in a big family and we didn't have a lot of money, so I had to buy my own phone with my first paycheck. That's what my first paycheck went to. So I did notice, like, I noticed that change where I started to bring my phone everywhere I went and. Mm -hmm. since recognizing that i mean i've tried to you know leave the phone on the counter like when i use the bathroom Mm -hmm. or whatever just like little things um yeah and yeah we have to i mean everyone has a cell phone nowadays so i think we just need to kind of be on top of it and just don't get too attached to it because if you think of it we're all kind of like uh what do you call them like cyborgs or whatever because we have like this this attachment to us it's like part of us yeah it really is it's it's crazy because i mean you now like look at that this little thing is a computer it's an entire computer you carry around in your pocket like Mm, i think that's where i think that's where the the big change happened because i mean everybody you know self when cell phones came out and you had flip phones and stuff you know the issue wasn't as bad because like you could call you could text but like you know for the most part that was really all you could do with the older phones like you could go on the internet but it was awful yeah it was terrible <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah and uh then when i think when like smartphones came it's like now i have i went from like you know okay i can make send a text or make a call now i have literally the entire internet i have the whole world literally at my fingertips right here yep i think Got that's where the the, i think that's where like the <laughs> big change happened because i noticed like i never had you know like a lot of the state of the art phones when i was younger you know, we didn't have like a ton of money when I was a kid. So if I like, I didn't get a cell phone until I was in like, I don't know, freshman year of high school. And then when I did get a cell phone, it was like the most basic phone that you could get. So, I mean, I noticed it with like a lot of my friends cause they would constantly be on their phones. And like, I didn't see the, you know, the benefit of that because all my phone did was send texts and make calls. Um, and then like, you know, I started getting smartphones and I was like, Oh, I can get music on my phone. Now I can go on YouTube. I can go on the internet. And then, and that's where I think that's where the transition happened. Yeah, there's such a lack of communication skills that come out of this. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, how often do you walk into a restaurant, and you look around, and you got not just friends but families, like parents and their kids, and every single one of them is on their phone. Mm-hmm. It's sad. Yeah. And I mean, I'm glad. So I went on a date last night. I got to bring this up. <laughs> and um, uh, as you said, like I'm right in the middle of the two generations between Gen Z and Millennials. So I still have, I have like the experience of both, but like, I'm still capable of like, if I'm out on a date and I'm talking to someone, I put my phone down to the side. I don't look at it. Don't think about it. And I just have a one-on-one conversation the whole time, but I look around and it's not the same with so many younger people. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. That's just yeah. living in the moment right there. You're just focused on what's in front of you. And yeah, it's like, 
technology causes like communication issues but it also just changes people's mindset because honestly what's wrong with like some awkward silence while you're on a date or like when you're like sitting at a table with your family there's going to be moments of silence that's perfectly fine you don't have to be able to hold a conversation that's entertaining for everyone at all moments if there's a little bit of awkward silence that's normal that's just that's how humans work we can't communicate properly all the time but now people are just filling that gap of awkward silence with something else. But again, you're not yeah. focusing on what's right there in front of you. Right. Exactly. And that's that's one reason that I won't check the lessons learned group chat sometimes. Like yesterday was a perfect yeah. example. Mm-hmm. Because you're driving me nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rachel and I were we were Hiatus. celebrating one year, and uh, yeah, I, I didn't check my phone whatsoever, so I didn't see the chat. Hey, you know what? As you should, Jared. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to fault you for that. It's just you know a consistent theme. But we're still going to roast you. you. Don't it's, check the chat, it's, it's, even when it's not the one year. Mm. It's no biggie. I applaud you for that, <laughs> honestly, because I'm always on my phone. Yeah. Hey, Chris. But, I mean, honestly, just go get your phone stolen. Like what happened to me in Thailand? Like, mm. do you like? Honestly, you won't imagine. Like, it's it's really hard to imagine how much time you do spend on your phone until it's it's just completely taken away from you, and you're in another country where you can't even get another phone. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, when I was in Thailand, I was there for two weeks. Ooh. My third day in, my phone got stolen. So that means for like eleven, like ten, eleven days, I didn't have a phone. And so like when I went out, I didn't have a phone or anything like that. Like it completely changed. Like you, it's it's eye opening. It really is eye opening not having yeah. a phone on you. I bet you were oh just in a new country too at that. So you're probably yeah. just like, yeah. dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Got, only only one of three of us had a working phone that had service and everything. <laughs> so it's like, if we got Jeez. separated too, it's just like, what do we do? <laughs> that's funny. See, yeah. well, I like what, what you it... said about, um, you know, just uh, like the awkward silence, dude, your brain is not wired to go a hundred percent every single second that you were awake. Like, just because there's silence, take that, breathe, you know, think about how you're feeling. Are you anxious? Are you sweating? Go get a glass of water. Like, you know, uh, you don't have to bury your face in your phone and I'm guilty of this, but I am getting better at it. Like yeah. I go on the elevator every day to get out of my apartment. And when there's another person in there, I'm like, Hey, how are you? That's usually it. And then I look on my phone to they get rid of this awkward silence. And I, I got to stop doing that. Yeah. Um, going back on what Talon said about the time he lost his phone. So I think the other thing too is society kind of tailors everything around the fact that like everybody has a phone. Um, and the reason I say that is I had, it was like a year and a half ago, my phone broke. Um, so I needed, I like, I had to go get a new phone and the amount of like inconvenience it was trying to get this phone because I'm like, all right, I need to call my bank. Nope, can't do that because there's no way to call my bank. I don't have my cell phone. There's no, uh, for those of you listening, there used to be these things called pay phones. Uh, <laughs> you used to be able to go and put a coin in it and then you could make a call. Uh, uh-huh. When yeah, the fuck exactly. did you ever use a pay phone? <laughs> I've never had to use one, but like, I've never <laughs> exactly. had to use one because we've always, exactly. but, but think about that. You don't need to use one until you need to use one. Yeah. Sure. And they're not and there anymore. Was, that was the situation that I ran into because I was like, I had a bunch of phone calls I had to make because my phone broke and I wasn't able to do that because there was no phone around short of like going up to a stranger and being like, hey, I need to borrow your phone. Yeah. Or like um, you think about like the secondary like authentication, like how many times you get like a text message yeah. to log into an account. Or for me, I think it was like my Coinbase account and my bank account. I had it on Google Authenticator like to get the code, which is like attached to that one device. And once right. I lost that phone, I couldn't access that Google Authenticator. So like straight up, just to get access to my bank account, I had to like send them like pictures of my ID, my passport, uh, a bunch of stuff. Like I had to hold up like a picture of my ID, my face, <laughs> and then like the the t- the date written on a piece of paper, so they knew it was like today. <laughs> Are you and serious? that was just to yeah, that was just for me to get access to my bank account because I lost that authentication because my I lost my phone. Um, yeah. So just like little things like that, like if you don't have your phone or think about COVID, so like restaurants, when you had to like scan the QR codes because restaurants didn't have menus, what do you do if you don't have a smartphone? (laughs) Yeah. They won't give you a menu. My dumb smartphone that doesn't have the QR scanner, I literally had to download one. (laughs) Wow. Exactly. You you Um, need a new phone, my guy. I do need a new phone. (laughs) 
<laughs> not the point of this episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> um, all right. Actually, so one more kind of like neg of the negative points I want to talk on before I think I think there's a lot of positives we can talk about. I definitely yeah. want to jump to the positives. Um, I don't know if it was released yet, but Jared and I did a just the clip episode on disconnecting from your devices. So Jared, you want to pop on a few points that we talked about in that real quick? Uh, talking about like the social media fast kind of thing. Yeah. Or just like just disconnecting in general, because I think that's part, I think that is part of why, like, I know Jared, you in particular communicate better I think than a lot of other people. And I think that's a big reason why is because you disconnect from your stuff once in a while. So like, why don't we jump on, like, this is, this is kind of the how to portion of like, if I feel like I am buried in my phone too much and I don't communicate well, how do I get better at that? Well, first of all, um, if you're ever sitting at the dinner table or you're going out to eat or you're at a bar, just put your phone away, you know? Um, and it's, it's going to be more, it's going to be harder than it sounds because, you know, you have that instinct, like whenever there's a pause or something, um, your instinct is to pull out your phone and just look at it. Even if you just click on the home screen, I know we've all done this. It's an awkward silence. We just pick up our phone and click the home screen to see our notifications and then just like put it back. And it's like, <laughs> oh, well, that just made it even more awkward. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah there's right? nothing yeah. there i don't have any friends that's right yeah. on that yeah, you <laughs> so, look at your phone no, nothing new put it back away Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are if you're in a situation where you're just one-on-one -on -one with a person or you're in a group of friends just pay more attention to them than your phone uh i i know it's it's easier said than done but you know you're in that situation you set up a meeting with either one or multiple people so you have that time and use that time like the best way you can and be present uh, because yeah. I mean that was my like that's my kind of like word of the year I guess the one thing I want to try to do in 2021 Presence. is to be present and to engage so yeah. that's one thing you can do you can also do you can do a social media fast uh, so you can do this for like a week or maybe a weekend where you just just use the texting on your phone. You know, you don't use any of the apps or anything. And I know, Chris, you've done, you did this thing where you deleted uh, Facebook and Instagram from your homepage, right? And I'd like to talk about this for a it second. It helped a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It, it helped for a day because I, I, I didn't, you know, whenever I click, it was like a different app. I would subconsciously click it. Um, I found an easier way to access it now, so it kind of backfired. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all I, have, <clears throat> I hate it, dude. All I have to do is ah, swipe down from the top. I swipe Man. down from the top. It's on my yeah. most recent apps, and it pops up. I was like, oh, shit. So now I can be on any page and then swipe for it. Like, oh, no. It made it oh, my technology. No. Yeah. <laughs> they um, want you on there. Yeah, it's, Hon yeah, it's terrible. Honestly, what people should do is like take a look at like your phone. Like I think on my phone, I think I could look in the battery section. Look how much time you spend on your phone during the day. Look at what your top apps are. And you just need to analyze, <laughs> is this adding anything to my life? So like Facebook's one of those things where I, when COVID started, I was on it all the time, just sitting there on the couch. I was watching TV and on Facebook and it's just entertainment. So I looked at it, it's like five hours a day on Facebook, delete Facebook, deleted Facebook. Yes, I was just like, Chris, I, I instinctly touched that, like that, that part of the, on my phone, like where the app was, wasn't there anymore. It, it was, it took some willpower not to reinstall it at times. Um, and I still have Facebook, but guess what? I have to go to my computer to go on Facebook if I want to now. So most of the time I'm not going to go on Facebook. Same. And yeah, like honestly, like I think, I think the f phones are a great tool, but I think for most people you need to focus on it as a, as a tool and not use it so much for the entertainment aspect of it. Um, it's such as like Facebook and everything like that. You just spend so much time and you don't even realize it. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Uh, I realize I, how much time I have, and I just still do it. It's bad. It's real yeah. bad. Yeah, it takes some willpower. I mean, but, yeah, but uh, also realize like how how much of that time throughout the day. Like I'll, I notice, like I'll look, and a lot of time I'm on. Like I would say my majority is on Snapchat, mm -hmm. but like we also communicate <clears throat> mostly through Snapchat for like our group. So like yeah. when we're on, we're on the group like talking about you know 
things that we're doing for editing or things that we want to do for the next episode or scheduling or, you know, stuff about the podcast or, or even just like if, it, if it's a, like something that happened to us in our day to day lives that we want to talk about with the group. Like I, I still find that productive. I don't think yeah. that's just like a waste of like being on your phone. So if I spend an hour on Snapchat cause I'm like talking back and forth with you guys having like a productive conversation, I don't really care. Nope. Right. You're using it Plus, as a tool at that point and you're, you're, exactly. com- you're, communicating properly because i mean the sad truth is randy and joe we can't hang out with you guys on a day-to-day basis so in in truth snapchat and whatever else and discord like this it's our only way that we can communicate with you so this is like one of the benefits technology yes it ruins our human communication but boom we just proved it it helps us too and apps like snapchat yes like you you can say that it's, it's a form of entertainment but we use it as a tool to communicate like a uh, podcast and we use it as a tool to update people on our lives, specific people, not just like on Facebook when you update your, your uh, like a, make a post on Facebook where you're updating like your 500 friends that you probably talked to like maybe a hundred of them, if that even. So yeah. you're, you're focusing on who you're updating your life on. 100%. Yeah. And so I think there's a fine line between using too much social media and not using enough because Chris did take a shot at me earlier. I didn't forget uh, <laughs> I did. about not responding. I forgot. Oh, yeah. About not responding. Well, yeah. here's my notifications right now. Good Lord. Yep. So I've, I've been like, I was hyper-focused on not checking my phone, and I've gotten really good at it, maybe to a point where I've crossed a line to where I do need to like look at it a little more frequently to like respond to text messages and stuff so like yeah i mean i pretty much always have a lot of notifications in it Mm. i'll go through it like once or twice a day and try to clear them out and respond to to what i need to to be fair if it's important we'll send you a message in the we have a group text as well we'll send you a message that's like we're like hey jared just check snap you know yeah like if it's important so you know like if we're just going off in the snapchat you know it's it's not that important. If it was like critical, it'd be in the message. Or so I like that we him. do that. Yeah. Or one it's thing, I'm going to, I'm going to back Jared a little bit here. Cause one thing that I'm pretty guilty of myself is like, I'll kind of pick and choose what notifications I look at at a time. Like I'll, I'll be honest in a minute right now. Like I'll go through and be like, I'm not going to look at that right now. I'm mm-hmm. not going to answer that right now. And then I fully intend to answer it later. And then I get busy <laughs> doing other things and I forget. forget. <laughs> Happens um, all the time. But I think on the same token, like, yeah, I, I pick and choose kind of who I answer, like, but it's based on like what I think is important to me and like who I think is important to me. Like usually, even if I don't respond right away, like when you guys send stuff in the group, like I'll at least, like if I'm busy at work, I'll at least look at it in case it's important. And then if it's not something that's like pressing, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll answer it later. But, um, yeah, I, I go through like, that's maybe something you could do, Jared. It's like, I know it's kind of like, tough to maybe pick and choose who you respond to but sometimes that's just the way you have to do it i think yeah yeah I, speaking of which, that's that's one thing i'll work on after this episode i'll work on responding to messages you can't Is see it? it my mom just no. snapchatted me probably not gonna answer it <laughs> pick and choosing <laughs> yeah if it was important she'd call me you know like that's my mom i'm not gonna like right. I, don't, I don't snapchat my mom Sorry, mom. If you're listening, yeah, it's, she's definitely gonna listen. She is. Wow. She is. It's June nineteenth. Everything. It's June nineteenth at ma'am. exactly eleven o'clock. So whatever you just sent me, I probably don't care about. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so back to like the tailoring society around technology. Think about it. We did an online dating episode. You mm-hmm. you can date. You can date. You can set updates at least, right? right. You can update your updates. Your update your dates. I don't, I'm <laughs> trying too hard. I'll stop, stop it now. Yeah, yeah, I'll just stop. Um, Cut. But yeah, so like your life is built around this freaking thing, and I I really don't like it. Um, I don't either. As much as I use it, it's because I'm like I'm addicted and I'm aware of that, so I need to fix that. But I hate it. Um, but there's also a benefit to it. You know, you can you can read on like iPads or Kindles or even your smartphones now. And you know what a good place to do that is? Randy, take it away. Oh, yeah. You know what you can do other than read is you can listen. And if you want to listen for free for 30 days, check out the link below pointing if you're listening and not watching. Click the link below for Audible free for 30 days. And you can listen to all your favorite books. 
and you can pretend you're smart like you're reading a book, even though you're not. Just <laughs> there looking at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Waiting for your Tinder date to walk in the door. Mm, yes. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> speaking. Hello, speaking miss. Of... Ignore the earbud in my ear. <laughs> I was just listening to classical as I read my book. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, listen to classical music. I heard this lessons learned nah. podcast talk about how classical music can help you remember more of what you read, and then that just doesn't Ooh. doesn't matter. Hi, nice. I sorry, Randy, but I actually have been listening to lo-fi music. It's not classical, oh. but the okay. lo-fi it's, 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 it's stepping stone, nice. right? stepping stone. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Baby yeah. steps. He's getting there. And yep. technology can help you bring together the bros online and record a podcast. Heck yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, Heck yeah. Yeah, so the let's positives. Talk about, let's, let's get into the positives here. There, there's Actually, definitely a lot of positives. Joey's going. Of, Joey's going well, for the positives. One, one last thing before the positives. I want to talk about the most extreme negative when it comes to technology. Ooh, Look at like it. examples such as countries like Japan, where they have declining birth rates because Ooh. people are not getting married. They're not having kids. <laughs> one of the biggest reasons associated with this is dating simulators. Because mm-hmm. is it easier to oh, go out and actually Lord. date a real woman, or is it easier to just uh, date a, an anime girl on a game or something like that and get oh, that Jesus. same like communication feels and everything like that? It's a common thing in Japan, um, and their uh, their their population is declining because of it, and it's actually a very serious problem. Uh, That's crazy. But That's to insane. then flip flip the switch right now, switch um, the flip, switch Ooh. the flip. Damn it's, it, you did it wrong. I know, I know, I always do it. But you did it correctly. Te- technology is now helping them because as of like 2020, Japan's working on uh an on- like an online dating AI to match people like almost perfectly with someone that like they can actually like date properly and actually like get married and have children and it's it's shown like really good success. So I mean, yeah, technology again, really bad bad examples from it and uh it can also yeah it's just balancing itself out right. back in my day we had to go out and meet back in women. My day. <laughs> <laughs> not let this ai tell me who to date that's you weird. Met girlfriend on tinder that's really that's weird, weird man unbelievable yeah wow all right joey so what's a positive joe, send it uh positives i the first thing that's come to my mind is keeping in touch with family even mm-hmm. though you're just gonna ignore mom but you know yeah, <laughs> yeah but anyways so uh i mean I mean, look at us, especially with military, right? Military, we get moved away from home. Well, not me, but uh, uh, get sent all the way across the country or even to different countries itself. And then who do you want to talk to when you get homesick is your family. And this technology has come in so handy with that situation where it's like, wow, I really miss my, my family. And then you're just like, well, let me just uh, hop on your Skype real quick. And then you get to have a, <laughs> a nice face-to-face conversation and then you know you know birthdays anything like that uh you oh, actually get to yep. be present with them even though you're not there but you actually get to like feel like it yeah yeah uh, that happened with uh brandon's wedding um nick oh yeah nick was the deployed. video chat yeah. right yeah yes. our, our buddy nick was deployed and he called us for our friend's wedding uh he was supposed to, he was supposed to be a groomsman right yeah yep and so we got so obviously he wasn't around but we got him involved yeah, that is yeah. that is clutch. Awesome. You know, I I had a few <laughs> few thoughts cross my mind like rapid fire while you were talking. So number one, you said Skype. I wish your degenerates would just get iPhones so we could FaceTime. And then that got me to thinking, why did I just think that thought? And this mm. society also views certain technologies lesser than the others. Like if you want to Skype. It's frowned upon, but if you want to FaceTime, it's like, oh, this guy's high class. Like, there's standards. Smells like broken here. Yeah, there were like, there's standards that are set, like unwritten. And I don't it's like, think it's that. like, well, that's because you don't even use your phone half the time. It's just but anyway, it's, it's your American <laughs> media your mindset American. that's telling you things like this. I don't care if you have an iPhone. Well, like, I don't, I don't, care if you're I don't be- Mercedes. Right. But, subconsciously, though, subconsciously, but it you does just said exist. It. It does or, exist, right? Or again, and, subconsciously, when we first started this, you said we're FaceTiming on Discord. Again, subconsciously, you said yeah. FaceTiming instead of just video chatting. Yeah. Like you, you literally just said you just said a trademark because it's such <laughs> it's ingrained in your in your brain. Yeah. So that's the thing is like even though it's unwritten, you might not think you think it, but you do, and it's there. And people like jokingly, but some people are like for real about it. They'll be like, if you send a message and it's a green, and it's not the blue to blue, yeah, it's like, was... 
what the hell are you what are you poor like it's a terrible (laughs) like it makes zero sense whatsoever but people think that yeah. I've seen a meme where like some girl matched with a dude over uh, Tinder, and yeah, what what is it the is it the blue to blue that's bad? No, blue no, blue's good. Green. Okay, so yeah, okay, so yeah, the dude's uh, chat turned up as green. She's like, oh, I can't talk to him anymore. Yeah, like, it's like what? <laughs> I don't even know like what that you guys was obviously a joke, about, but like honestly, that's because you've never blue had an iPhone. And green and you're, and you're just what? that peasant, dude. So <laughs> peasant. So <laughs> if you have an iPhone and you're talking to another iPhone user, both of your texts will be blue. But if the person does not have an iPhone, then their text will be green. Yeah. You know what? Uh, if someone if someone gross. judges me because I don't have an iPhone, then I... Then you're better off. Yeah, be, you don't want to be with if them that's, anyways. If that's their standard for people that they surround yeah. themselves with, then I don't want to be around them. And that's a perfect way to think about anymore. it. Perfect. I'm glad you said that. If you're that shallow. Yeah. yeah. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bug facts. No, but to to build on Joey's point, I mean, same, like, not even just with family, but with friends, too. Like, when you think about it, Joe and Chris both, they, you know, I knew them from here in New Jersey. And then when you were in, like, what, freshman year of high school, and then Joey for you, seventh or eighth grade, you guys, you guys moved to Delaware. And, like, had it not been for the technology that we have, I probably would never talk to you guys again. Yeah. That's it. And now here we are, like, how many years later, and we were doing this podcast together over yeah. FaceTime, Discord, whatever. Yeah. Um, and, like, the only reason we can do that is because of the advancements in technology that we've had. So it's right. definitely not all bad. No. You know, yeah. there's definitely great parts to it. And uh, even for, like, the networking aspect, like, there's people that I do still have friends with, like, on Facebook and stuff that, you know, I haven't talked to them in years because just whatever, whatever reason I was friends with them it may not be part of my life anymore. But I keep those people around because of networking. Like... You know, I might not need them right now, but then somebody might say to me, you know, hey, I need somebody who does this. And it's like, oh, you know, I know this guy. I can message him real quick. And it's like, hey, I know we haven't talked in a long time, but I I got a friend who's looking for somebody to do this. Would you be interested? And people do that to me. Like, I'll use my woodworking, for example. Like, people do that to me all the time. I'll get messages that are like, yeah, hey, I know we haven't talked in a long time, but I saw your woodworking page. Would you want to make this for me? Yep, and that kind of huge. stuff happens all the time. So, like, that's another great example of why technology is good. Also, yeah. like, I saw a commercial uh, for, like, Facebook groups. Um, that's actually awesome because I started playing hockey because of, like, groups like that. And, like, if I go mm-hmm. somewhere, I just look up a hiking group or something like that, you know? Like, it does make it easier. That's using it as a, the tool, right? So, you use it as right. a tool, and then you physically interact with people. Like, you go meet up with people and it's great so that is probably yeah. my biggest benefit right using it I as think a that, tool yeah i said i think that's the biggest takeaway from this whole thing is like where does it where's the line where your social media is a tool to where it becomes like a waste of your time you kind of have to like find that balance and find that line where yep. you're not where you're using it properly and like you know and I'm, we're not we're not here to say that it's bad to use your phones and use facebook and everything else for entertainment there's just like a line where it becomes like it's entertainment and it's a tool or it's consuming your whole life. Yeah. I don't, I want to kind of get away from social media because we've done a whole episode about that too, but it is such a big part of the technology aspect. Um, Right. But so think about this. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? What wakes you up? My alarm. alarm. My alarm. You have alarm clocks. I have an alarm yeah, clock. I did. I, I decided that years clock. ago to not have my phone on my nightstands. Super smart. Really smart. I need to do that. Yeah. Huge brain. I, yeah. I actually watched a TED talk like years ago from like, it was like a Harvard, Harvard professor. I can't, I can't like quote it or anything like that. But he said like, it truly like put your phone in another room, disassociate yourself from your phone, wake up from an alarm clock. You will, it will benefit your life. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know I'm guilty is, you know, I use my phone, obviously. I think most of us do, aside from talent. Um, where you know, I, I wake up to the, the phone alarm. I roll over, turn it off, pull up Instagram, yep. pull yeah. up Snapchat. First thing. Like, first thing, everything just starts coming through. Yeah. Like, why? Why Next do I do that? Next thing you know, that? 30 minutes went yep. by, and you lost yeah, your exactly. slow morning that Sometimes you wanted. Longer. And you know what you could have done? You could have done some yoga. Like could have dieted yeah. well, like our last episode or like three, two episodes Made a ago. smoothie. One of the previous Gone ones. Gone for a yeah. walk. Yeah, a smoothie. Yeah. yeah, taking your time 
enjoy the moment that you're living and be present like Rumsey's trying to do and just wake up calmly. Another good thing is like I have this Google Home, the mini thing. I think I'm going to bring that back in my room because you can literally say as you're falling asleep, hey, Google, set an alarm for 6 a.m. And then like maybe play John Mayer at 6 a.m. or some shit like that. Right. And wake up to like nice music. And yeah. Dude, yeah, similar, you don't even need your phone. Similar to that, I want to get one of those. It's it's like a it's like a alarm clock that also lights up in the morning. I forget what it's called. I talked about one Talon last week. It. That's what I yeah. got. Yeah. Oh, really? Um, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot yeah. to do the Amazon link, but I got one of those because I had an alarm clock. But then I got one of those. Uh, I think it was like a couple, like a month or two ago because I got like the blackout curtains, and I was yeah. having the I was having the issue of like I would just sleep because normally the sun really does affect you when it comes to like waking up and everything. So what I do, um, so one, I tried waking up at seven every single day. I was super groggy at seven. I found out 6.30, 6.30 is my time. Um, so I set my alarm clock at like, I think it's at 6.10. So it has 20, 20 minutes. It starts lighting up like very dimly, starts changing colors, lights up, lights up, lights up. And it plays like, I think it's waves is like the, is the alarm I have set right now. And it, it slowly like brings the volume of that up too until it hits 630 where it's like the sun is in my face and like the alarm's <laughs> fully going. That's but it, like, awesome. like five minutes beforehand, like I'm already kind of like slowly like waking up on my own at that point. So. Technology. Yeah, it's not like instantaneous. Technology, yeah, again. right? This is, yep. this is right. technology. This I mean, is a- so if I got that, that would be perfect because I have a, I have a chili pad hooked Already up talked about bed. it. Already talked about it. Bro. Already talked, talked about, about it. It, yeah, it sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. I was yeah. blown away. And I can, I can set, I know you talked about it, but I can set it to no, heat up around the time that I want to wake up in the morning so it can heat up and it can go up to like 115 degrees so it can get dang. warm and then you're going to be oh, like, dang. okay, I'm getting out of bed now and you Drunk can set it to cool sheesh. down when you're going to bed. It's yeah. not to brag or anything, Brilliant. but uh, you know how I know and, I'm best uh, friends with Jared Rumsey because I know what he has on his mattress. <laughs> we're just we're just best <laughs> friends. Like yeah. I knew he had a heating mm-hmm. pad on his bed. Can yeah. you say that about mm-hmm. all your friends? No. Yeah, from no. experience. Yeah. That with and the it, new Performa sleep mattress. Ooh, ooh, ooh. nice, ooh. nice. I'll, we're not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> also, when it comes when it comes to sleep and technology, real fast because I know. Like people have their phones, but even before that, people had TVs in their room and people would fall asleep with the TV. They would probably wake up and watch TV or something like that in their room. Uh, And since I think it was like basic military training um, since like literally about six years ago, my MTI told me your bedroom should be it's just that it's for your bed and it's for you to sleep you shouldn't be doing like anything you shouldn't really be focusing on anything else while you're in your bedroom so it's just like playing on your phone watching tv entertaining yourself doing anything other than sleeping why are you doing it in your bedroom your bedroom is supposed to just be for you to sleep in so yeah. bring Meanwhile, that to something else recording in our bedroom <laughs> yeah. i wish i could i wish i could turn my camera without messing up the whole angle and everything but there's a tv like right here i've yeah. never used it Mm-hmm. I just I'm it's just because time. I have a TV that I needed to put somewhere it's the only reason it's in my room you didn't want to throw it away or give it away yeah no no because whenever I no. get a house I'll use it like in a basement or something but like I just oh. I don't use it I have books on my nightstand and then the computer's here just for like podcasting because I don't have an office space but that's it so yeah and technology isn't even just what affects us directly like there's been some technological advances in the medical field that are absolutely insane um, for instance, like I, I, uh, something you guys know, I hurt my hamstring a couple weeks ago and I've been using a thing that we have at work. It's called a blood flow restrictor and the technology that's in that machine is absolutely insane, but I've used it twice this week. And I would say I'm like 110% better in just a week from using that machine twice. And wow. another thing that's in development currently, which is really, really cool they're uh, they're actually working on prosthetic limbs that hook up to your nerve endings. So like where if like I lost my arm from like here down say, they could make a prosthetic that hooked up to my nerve endings and I can like move my fingers. That's crazy. And actually man. like function. That's wow. awesome. So like and that's and that's all technology. Like that's 100% technology. Um so again, there there's another that's another great huge benefit of like the advances in technology. Yeah, yeah look at Look at 3D Teslas, printing right? houses even too. Yeah, oh it's yeah. Just, we're we're hitting but I mean yes we're improving humanity, right? But at what point is it going to hit that like whoa, what did we do? Exactly. Yeah. So, I think we're already there. So like th- all this technology makes our lives a lot easier, 
right but it, yeah at what point is it going to be too easy you know so i think right. it's important that as individuals real we realize you know when we see something and say hey this is going to make my life so much easier you got to have you have to have like a line in your head where you're like right i don't want my life to be that easy like it's worth going you know putting that extra time in uh for my life to not be so easy because uh there was a quote and i actually pulled it up uh as we were talking about this a quote by sheik rashid the founder of dubai and he says uh hard times create strong men strong men create easy times easy times create easy weak times men create weak, weak men. men create weak difficult men times create bad times yeah yep. you just and sparked something that. in my head right now the movie wally yeah. like straight up like the the like super lazy unhealthy people their lives are so easy in that movie and look what it did to humanity yeah i mean right. yeah <laughs> i mean that was the whole purpose of the movie was, but yes yeah. it just that just but made think me think that about it the, that was the ultimate point i wanted to make like that when we started this like right from the get-go was like you know what is it doing to our humanity it's like okay well we can walk around our neighborhood or we can ride on a friggin segway or a hoverboard as they call them even though they don't hover so yeah. i all bullshit on that but um but you know like it's it's even just simple little stuff like that where it's like you've become we've become so lazy and so complacent where you, you lose your drive as humans too like you just become a drone and maybe that's why depression I, rates are increasing you know like we're getting yeah. significant medical issues now where it's like, again social media just should not be a thing i i believe it should not be a thing because you're just comparing yourself to everybody and it's depressing it really is depressing right yeah that's so. it's important to find it's important to find outlets that can help you uh help you know build on some skills you know shoot a gun throw an axe lift some weights uh, i know these are like yeah. typical like stereotypically like manly things but i mean yeah, learn how to make a fire. It's these little things that are going to... Knit, gonna... crochet. Knit, crochet, <laughs> sure. Why not? Write, draw, yeah. paint, all I that mean, stuff, you may all not, the verbs. You may not Woodworking. need to, ah, and you may have a machine that can do everything for you, or you can just use Amazon and, you know, I don't need to learn <laughs> how to make this. I can just have it shipped to me tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can, it can create a weak society, I think. So we need right. to... Absolutely. We need to be very aware of what we're doing to ourselves. And yeah, it, I mean, it made me think of uh, what you mentioned, Talon, about people in Japan, the dating thing. Uh, that's crazy because it's just going to be too easy. And mm -hmm. I think that can create yeah. some problems in the future. Yeah. Right. I mean, just think about, again, last thing communication wise, like, you can now order everything you need off of Amazon. You don't ever have to go to the store and interact with anyone. Yeah, that's terrible. During COVID, I made it a point to get out of my apartment every single day, whether that's going for a walk, groceries, a coffee. Even if it only took five minutes, I made sure I got out of my apartment every day because when you're locked up, dude, it's it was like, oh, my God, I can't do this. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. We talked about it a lot, you know, technology's good, bad. We wouldn't be where we are without it. We wouldn't be doing this without it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Maybe by that light that wakes you up in the morning, maybe don't sleep with your phone next to you. Um, and just focus, you know, have those awkward silences in the elevators or on dates. It makes you who you are and take a breath. You don't have to be active 100% of the time that you're awake. So just realize that relax live a happier life real quick speaking of technology it kind of failed on us because joey's audio is gone if you guys didn't even notice hey, <laughs> hey joe <laughs> anyway what a great end to this episode jared take it away thank you all for listening this has been lessons learned if you're watching on youtube thank you don't forget to like comment subscribe tell your friends share it uh, we drop a new episode every monday and sometimes a just the clip on wednesdays so Follow us on social media to stay updated and leave us a review. All right. Appreciate it. See you later. See you. See you. See you.